Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to build a current meter using the core of an old electric motor. I am using this core from an old electric motor. As you can see, it is just this coil and the iron core. When you apply DC current to the coil, a magnetic field appears in this region. Now, if we have a magnet here, the magnetic field will try to align the magnet in this position. So, we have the magnet in an horizontal position. Now, depending on the current, the magnet will start to rotate, trying to be in the vertical position. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, now I have the magnet mounted on the motor core. It is on this fine steel wire and the wire rests on these two plastic tubes. However, there is a problem that I have not anticipated and is that the magnet has a binary position. It is attracted either to one side or the other due to the mass of the iron core. If we apply a current, let me increase the voltage, the magnet does turn, but it does so not in a slow way, it is not linear, it moves suddenly from one position to the other. So I need to think of something to remedy this situation. And the trick is to use another magnet. I will put this other magnet below the first one in order to attract it. Let me put it below this piece of wood. Like this. And you can see now the magnet is in the horizontal position and it is not attracted to one side or the other because the force of the magnet below is higher than the force of attraction to the core. And now if we apply current, the movement is slow and continuous as we need for a measuring apparatus. Well, the last step is to bend the wire where the magnet rests so that it can be used as an indicator needle and to add a scale. You need to put the markings on the scale using the values that you read from another measurement apparatus. So, let me now increase the voltage and you can see the needle moving slowly as the current increases. So there you have it, a homemade ammeter made from an old electric motor. I hope you liked this video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.